Hi, I'm Andrew Stadel, and welcome to Estimation 180, where there's over 200 tasks to help your students develop their number sense. Whether you're new to Estimation 180 or you are a returning veteran, this video is going to cover three things to help you get started and maximize your use of the website. I want to share that in my 20 plus years of math education, I've been a classroom teacher, an instructional coach, a presenter, a consultant, and I'm currently teaching secondary math at a project-based learning school using standards-based grading. But we'll talk more about that in a different video. I created Estimation 180 because I wanted my students to have better number sense. By bringing in pictures of the real world, it brought more students into the math conversations. We had more conversations about units of measurement, proportional thinking, and other mathematics. And I found that my students often were making connections from day to day, and as a result, their number sense started to develop. The goal of Estimation 180 is not to replace your core curriculum. Instead, Estimation 180 serves as a way to support your core curriculum and again, have fun, rich, healthy conversations around units of measurement and number sense. The three things that I wanna cover in this video are the teacher resources page, handouts that are available for you to download, and the third thing is I would love for you to consider taking the free mini course, which has five essential tips to help you maximize using this site. So when you're on the homepage of Estimation 180, you'll notice at the top, there's a teacher resources link. Click on that. At the top of that page, you'll notice there's the start here video, which you're probably already watching. Below that is a video to show you how to use the first five days of Estimation 180. I highly recommend you check that out. It also showcases the use of the handouts, which is the second thing I wanted to talk about in this video. You'll notice there's a lot of student handouts available for you. My favorite is the daily log, but I also created some daily handouts for certain series of estimation tasks, and there's more to come. Below the video and the handouts, you'll notice there's three additional things available to you. The first is the free mini course, which I really hope you consider taking. There are five essential tips that I feel will really help you maximize the use of this website. The second are additional teacher handouts. And the third is a number sense guide. I think having that definition of what number sense is can really help guide your conversations and facilitation of tasks in your classroom. Please consider subscribing to my newsletter at andrewstadel.com. Also, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, which contains a lot of Estimation 180 resources, videos, tips, and tutorials. Thanks again for being here at Estimation 180. It makes me so happy that teachers are using these resources with their students to help them develop their number sense one day at a time. Take care.